We're going to take a look at how to find a correlation coefficient from a scatter plot on Desmos. So just to remind you, when you want to start entering data for a scatter plot, you need a table. So you would click on plus new item and choose a table and then fill in your table with your X and Y data. I already have that done on a different window. So I've already put in my X and Y data. So this is forming a scatter plot. But of course, I look over here and I don't see my scatter plot. What the heck is going on? Here's what's going on. My window goes from about 0 to 12 on the x-axis and 0 to 10 on the y-axis. Well, these numbers, these ordered pairs, are outside the window. For example, my x window needs to go from 18 to 37. One way I could do that is just to pinch my screen and zoom out. And by doing that, I went from 0 all the way to 40 and 0 all the way to 60 on the y-axis. Thus, these points are visible. If I didn't want to do the, the thumb zooming in, zooming out thing, I can always go to this little wrench and put in x and y values that I want for my x-axis. So let's say I want my x-axis to go from 0 to 40. So be it. And my y-axis to go from 0 to... Let's go 50. I'll have that go by tens. I'll have the y axis, x axis go by tens. And by doing that, I also see my scatter plot. So it just depends on how you want, how you want to get there. But the point of this is to show you how to get the correlation coefficient. So what I would do is go down to the next opening. And now the keypad, I'm going to show the keypad. And there's a couple of different ways you can do this. One way is to go to functions over here and statistics and just click on correlation. Be careful because you have a C-O-R-R, -R, that's the correlation. So I click on that and then over here I say the data is in X1 comma Y1 and now I have my correlation coefficient. It makes sense that it's negative because if I look at the trend line of this scatter plot, it would be a negative correlation or the line of best fit would have a negative slope. There's another way to do this. This is a longer way if you're interested in a longer way. And this is where you make your line of best fit. So I would say Y, I'm in a new uh, rectangle, Y1 tilde, which is shift tilde, it's up there above the tab, M X1 plus B, and now you'll see a line of best fit over there. And the equation of that line of best fit is pretty clear because you see it's covered up here. Let's see if I can move this. I don't think I can. Uh, unfortunately, there we go. This is the slope and this is the y-intercept. If I was going to write the equation of the line of best fit, the slope and the y-intercept. But over here in that same readout is the r, which is the correlation coefficient. r is the symbol for correlation coefficient. So it's there as part of your line of best fit, or it's there using the correlation. Whichever way you want to go, you now know how to find the correlation coefficient for the scatter plot which has a negative relationship and it's fairly strong or fairly obvious.